Afternoon with the potential end of the stay at home order coming May 15th. Churches are among those getting ready, trying to figure out how to serve the public in person in a responsible way. News 13's Annalisa Pardo joins us with more. Yeah, Kim, despite being grateful for online services these past few months, churchgoers I talked to are eager to get back to in person services. I am excited to go back. I do love seeing everyone and my pastor there. It's been very different because we can't each other personally and I like it I, I, I like that we still have the contact but it's just it's just so different and I'd rather be there to see all the people and interact with everyone while some tell me they're going to church the minute they're allowed others say they might continue online services until they feel safe enough to go back churchgoers are expecting in-person services to be much different than they're used to I assume it'll be seats farther apart, you know, and maybe, maybe in clusters where family groups can sit closer than non-family groups. I, I don't really know. I, I, I'm wishing it was back three months ago. Sagebrush Church says that they plan to take precautions like social distancing, no self-serve coffee at services, and increased cleaning. Legacy Church has these signs closing off every other row to ensure distance between families attending. They also plan to clean the church in between services. Churches I called also tell me they're still figuring out how to put on a worship if the gov or if the state rather requires a limited capacity. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Annalisa. Now, we did also reach out to the Archdiocese of Santa Fe to see how they're planning to safely resume in-person bigger services. We did not hear back.